James Webb is a project only very haltingly put on track, or let's better say, into space. As early as 1996, NASA, the European ESA, and the Canadian CSA began the ambitious project. Since 2007, the launch of the gigantic space telescope has been postponed again and again. But this year, the time had finally come. The billion-dollar space telescope sent its first images and never-before-seen impressions of space to Earth. The James Webb Space Telescope Before we show you the spectacular images of the Space Telescope in this video, we want to tell you something about the history of the largest, most expensive, and best space telescope ever built by mankind. As the successor to the successful Hubble project, James Webb was supposed to be able to spy even better, in even greater detail, and above all, deeper into space. Compared to telescopes stationed on Earth, Space telescopes offer the advantage that their images are not clouded by the Earth's atmosphere or light pollution on Earth. As a result, the space giants achieve brilliant image sharpness and representations in true colors. Initially called the Next Generation Space Telescope, experts from all over the world were working on the technology and the cameras. As early as 2007, James Webb was supposed to be ready to go into space, but then technical faults turned up on a primary mirror and further reworking took until 2014. 3.3 billion in construction and operating costs had been exhausted by that time. For a time, the US House of Representatives Science Committee recommended stopping the project. The costs had grown to an incredible $8.7 billion. But how do you stop a project that has already cost $3 billion? Eventually, an agreement was reached and James Webb was completed. By the end of 2014, the new funding, which amounted to nearly $10 billion, was secured. After two more launch delays, the James Webb Telescope left Earth on December 25, 2021, on an Ariane 5 ECA rocket. Less than a month later, on January 24, 2022, the telescope reached its orbit about 1 million miles from Earth. After weeks and months of adjustment, the time had come. When James Webb sent the first images to Earth, the worries about the billions spent were immediately forgotten. James Webb will now spend at least 10 years investigating the big questions facing humanity. The technology is capable of searching for the light of the first luminous objects and galaxies formed after the Big Bang. These light patterns are, after all, an estimated 13.5 billion years old. To better understand the shape and formation of the universe, James Webb will examine structures in ways never before possible. Questions such as, is the universe infinite? Or, where is it expanding to? May soon be answered in this way. James Webb will be able to observe precisely for the first time the formation and presumed evolution of galaxies, black holes, stars, and planetary systems. The final but no less important task of the telescope is to study exoplanets in more detail. In the coming years, this could finally give us answers to the question of whether there are planets out there that resemble our Earth and are possibly even inhabited. How does the James Webb Telescope see the universe? The JWT is up to 100 times more sensitive to electromagnetic waves than the Hubble Telescope. Its technical precision gives scientists entirely new views into our solar system and far beyond. To this end, technicians on Earth have developed cameras and measurement techniques that are considered milestones in telescope technology. The Near Infrared Camera, or NIRCAM for short, is the telescope's primary image provider. The infrared camera will be able to capture light from the first stars after the Big Bang. The mid-infrared instrument goes by the short name MIRI and is a combination of camera and spectrograph. The camera technology can record various wavelengths in the infrared range and provide fantastically colored and razor-sharp images like Hubble. Astronomers refer to the near-infrared spectrograph as NIRSPEC, or the telescope's super-eye. It was developed on behalf of ESA in Germany. The spectrograph can analyze even the faintest radiations 
from the first and most distant galaxies and can detect up to 100 celestial bodies, such as galaxies or stars simultaneously. All these fine measuring instruments and cameras are coordinated by a central control unit. The more than 100 different settings and observation modes are directed by people on Earth. First Images It all started in the summer of this year. In June, NASA presented the first images of the telescope. The first image is called Deep Field. You can see stars and galaxies that have never been seen before. We'll show you this image in more detail in a moment. But first, we'll show you some more fascinating images from JW. The second image came from an exoplanet a thousand light years away. HIP 65426b is six times the size of Jupiter and is very hot due to its proximity to its star. Thanks to the new measurement methods, the researchers obtained accurate measurement data on the composition of the atmosphere for the first time to accompany the photo of the planet and found clear evidence for the existence of water vapor and clouds. The next image unveiled by NASA is called Stefan's Quintet. Here, you don't see stars or gas clouds. No, this quintet consists of five complete galaxies, each containing a million to hundreds of billions of stars. About 300 million light years away from us, these galaxies are performing a cosmic dance in which two of the galaxies will merge into one over the course of several million years. Another image that took the breath away of astronomers and amateur stargazers is that of the death of a star also known as the Southern Ring Nebula. Never before could the final phase of a star be shown in such depth, color variety, and with measured data of physical properties. The last amazing revelation was the birth of a star. The image shows a sea of new stars and gas and cloud formations called cosmic cliffs. Infrared image JW's first image was the deepest and sharpest infrared image yet of the distant universe. Thanks to unique infrared technology, the image shows the galaxy cluster SMAC 0723. At first glance, you might think you see a few stars in the image, but you are wrong because on this picture, you see also some thousands to millions of stars. But the bigger light points are also galaxies. With a view of this photo, you look at the same time in thousands of galaxies in which billions of stars romp. Each one of these countless stars can have several planets around it, just like our sun does. At the same time, this picture of the JWT is only a grain of sand compared to the size of the universe known so far, a tiny section of the huge universe. What do you think of this sight of a tiny slice of space, showing so many stars and countless planets? Can we really be alone there? Maybe we're looking at countless civilizations and planets that resemble our Earth. Only we can't see those details right now. To create the photo of this deep field, the JWT's NIRCAM took hundreds of individual images of different wavelengths over 12.5 hours and then stitched them together to create a manageable overall image. At the same time, the technique provides accurate data on the dimensions, depths, and ages of the captured light structures. The image shows the galaxy cluster as it looked 4.6 billion years ago. That's how long it took the light to reach us, and James Webb, like all telescopes, can only capture light that reaches us after an infinitely long journey. Some other areas of the image show galaxies whose light has traveled only 1 billion or 1 million light years to reach us. Strictly speaking then, telescopes look not only into space, but also into the past. We can't observe on Earth what space or the night sky really looks like right now. We can only see the light and measure its age. The prominent arcs in this image come about because the strong gravitational field of a galaxy cluster bends the light rays from more distant galaxies behind it. The effect is similar to a magnifying glass that bends and distorts the images being viewed. Using the MIRI technique, astronomers can display a kaleidoscope of colors. This makes it possible to visualize stardust and gas clouds, which are important components in star formation. The red objects you can see in the image are areas surrounded by thick layers of dust, stars, or galaxies. Green galaxies are rich in hydrocarbons and other chemical compounds. Using these data, researchers hope to better understand how galaxies form, grow, or merge in the future. The two spectra aboard the telescope 
will be able to provide data of physical and chemical properties of distant galaxies. And with the NIRCAM, distant galaxies will be visible for the first time with a sharpness never before achieved. So the images we've been privileged to share with you now are just the beginning and we can expect many more amazing news and impressions from space in the years to come. To close this video, tell us what you hope to get out of the JW mission. Do you hope that we'll find a habitable exoplanet, images of new galaxies, discovering the end of the universe, or something else entirely? Let us know and share your ideas with us in the comments.